Well, hello everybody. This is Britt Axrod with the Marks and Connection. I just finished ours. I'm exhausted. We had a great day today. And keeping with our marketing theme, you know, there are four pillars that we talk about all the time, which is number one, we talk about the headspace of the doctor. Two is your philosophy. Three is your systems and procedures. And four is your marketing. And a lot of people, I think, are a lot of weak in this area. So one, listen, it's the second half of the year. For some of you that maybe, you know, your first half wasn't great. You didn't put a marketing calendar together. Some things that are missing in your practice that you want to really add. What a great time of year to do this. Where now we take the beginning of the second half of the year. July 1st is right around the corner. And now what a great opportunity to make it a spectacular year. It doesn't matter how you start. It always matters how you finish. So a couple things we want to keep to think about is, one, a great practice is always built from the inside out. You know, our coaches before, Rick Markson, talked about the headspace of marketing. And Joe Hudak, I know, talked about the headspace of the doctor. But let's talk about some do steps now. One, we talk about an inside out practice. So one, you should always have two internal events planned each month two external events planned or more each month and one big event planned each quarter. And so I think this is really important also that now you should have more of a web-based presence or web-based marketing. It should go more digital. So we talk about getting videos. In fact, next week we're updating all our testimonial or video testimonials from patients. We just put together a list of about 15 or 20 patients that we're going to target And we're going to video them doing a 30-second video testimonial for for the doctors, for our practice. And then we're going to add that to our website. One, make sure your website is current, search engine optimized, obviously. Look at your social media. What is your Facebook? Are you posting each day on Facebook once once a day at least or a few times a week? You should be doing things on Twitter, Instagram. All these different things I think are awesome. Also, everything in your office should be digital and you should be going more to a paperless system. You know, there are a couple of companies we recommend like Demand Force and another one that I really like that we've switched to is called Solution Reach where you can be texting patients all the time. Everything's automated, but these are all solid things to help brand your practice and help get the word out. One, also you should be doing a weekly blog. You know, we do it through Constant Contact. We write, you know, a couple of paragraphs long. That's it, short and sweet. We do that once a week. We send out a newsletter through our web, through our um a website called Perfect Patients that we use through Bell Esteb, they generate a once a month newsletter, which I think is awesome. But don't forget the basic stuff too. Are you doing a healthcare demonstration or a natural health orientation class? Are you doing an advanced class? Are you educating your patients on every visit, what we call the CPC, chiropractic patient curriculum, where you have something designed that progresses on a visit by visit basis to educate your patients? Listen, the bottom line is you can do all the marketing and all the branding, but the bottom line is you've got to educate your patients about who you are and what you do, and you got to tell the chiropractic story. You've heard this a thousand times that the story doesn't have to be sold, it just has to be told. So these are all different ways to do that. But again, look at your website, go through your social media stuff, get your, your videos up and running, and tell the story in more ways than one. Still, the number one way to build your practice is by speaking, getting out there, whether, whether you're speaking to one or two people or, or groups of 10, 20, 50, 100, it doesn't matter. But if you're doing this on a regular basis, it's going to be huge. And last but not least, do a mind sweep. Get everything out of your head. Create an internal list and an external list of all the things that you might want to do to incorporate into your practice. And then take those things and begin to what we call chunk and layer them into your calendar so you build action steps every day to make sure all these things get done. We can help you with that. That's what we're all about. But this is another step to building you and building your practice to make it exactly how you want it. That's it for now. Have a great day. We'll see you on our next tip. Bye-bye.